So one plus million active installation of plugin SiteGround Optimizer, which is developed by SiteGround to dramatically improve WordPress website performance on any hosting environment. Guys, we're gonna put this to test that is this possible to increase website speed dramatically with using SiteGround Optimizer plugin. One plus million people are using it. So I thought, okay, it can be a good idea to make a video on this and guide you all the best options of SiteGround Optimizer and answer a lot of questions if you can use this plugin on non-SiteGround website or not and what you can expect in terms of the scores. If you use this plugin on SiteGround websites or hosting which are not SiteGround hostings. Just to give you a teaser, I could achieve 92 out of 100 score for mobile devices and 99 out of 100 for desktop devices using SiteGround Optimizer plugin. And with GT metrics, I got performance 100, grade A, 97% structure, LCP 660MS, TBT 0MS, CLS 0MS. But this is now the whole story. I really recommend you to watch the complete tutorial until the end so you can decide what you can do with this plugin, what is this plugin capable for, and if this is the best plugin for you or not. So make sure you watch the video until the end. Okay, so let's see how we can install SiteGround Optimization plugin on your website. So log into WordPress admin panel and then hover on plugins and click add new and then search your SiteGround and then you'll find this first plugin SiteGround Optimizer. And then you can see it was updated two weeks ago. One plus million active installation and around 4.5 star rating given by more than 525 people. And that was the only reason I made video about this to see if this is true or not and how much you can get with this plugin. I shown in the teaser but that was half story but you're gonna cover the rest of the things once you proceed into the video. Okay, so click on install now. Once installed, click on activate. Now you can find this plugin in left sidebar, SG Optimizer. Click on SG Optimizer. So first we are presented with this pop-up where they ask to collect some technical data about my installation. I'm gonna give this option check because I want this plugin to work well with my website. And then this one I will not check. It is just for receiving occasional emails about updates. So I click on confirm. Now once you install this plugin, you can see there are some important notifications here. So this is the dashboard for this plugin. You can see dashboard, caching, environment, front end, media, speed test. The best thing about this plugin is it is very simple plugin. Only few options here, not a lot of clutter. But let's see this less option can we achieve the best course or not. So we have some important notification. WordPress needs attention. There is update available. We're not going to update for now. And then we have caching status and it is showing caching three out of four. So I'm using three features out of four features provided by SiteGround Optimizer plugin and then some ratings and then other optimization what we can do on environment front end and media basically they are the same thing here caching environment front end media so on dashboard you can go to any of this option or what you can do you can pick up the individual option from here and then you can go to the respective pages so click on caching and guys one really important information before you do anything on your website you should set up a stage website i created a video about it it takes two minutes to create the stage website so that when you do something big on your website, your live website doesn't break. So first install a staging website, test everything there, and when it goes well, then only implement a live website. Don't write me in comments that your website break or something because you have to implement it first on stage website. Check the link on the top right, how to set up a stage website in just a couple of minutes, or check the description of this video. Okay, so we have this option here, caching types, dynamic caching, which I say should keep it on. Then you have file-based caching, I say should keep it on. And then we have MMKHD. So it will work only if you're using SiteGround hosting. If you're not using SiteGround hosting, this option will not work. For example, this website is not on SiteGround. If I try to enable this option, I receive this pop-up information that it is available only on SiteGround environments. Okay, so we're gonna leave it like this. And then we have option automatic purge. So when you change something on your website, it will automatically purge the cache so that you can see the updated version of your website. And then if you want to manually purge the cache, you can click here, purge cache and all the cache will be purged and then exclude URL from caching. So normally we're not going to add anything here, but if you're facing some issues on some pages, you can edit this option and then you can add the URL of the page you want to exclude from caching and then check this option browser specific caching. Keep it on. There's no save button on this page because whenever you change anything, it automatically save. Second thing is environment options. So when we go to environment options, the first option HTTPS enforce. So you need to enable this option. And when you enable the option, you're going to log out from the website. So make sure you have your website credentials saved. So once you confirm, you log out and then you can log in again. Then you have option fix insecure content. You need to enable this option. I'm not going to enable this option because I'm going to log out from my website. And I don't want this big step while I'm creating this video. But you need to enable these two options. And then make sure gzip compression browser caching is enabled. 
I create detailed video. What is GZIP compression and what is browser caching? You want to check those videos? Check the description of this video. And then we have WordPress heartbeat optimization. For beginners, you don't need to worry about this thing. You can leave everything by default like this. And then a scheduled database maintenance. So if you are in process of making your website starting phase and you are making a lot of updates, you want the backup of your pages. Not backups, but you need like the version of your pages. So I will ask you to not touch this option leave this disabled but if your website is well working you can click on edit and then you can check all these options so what happen anything on website database which you do not need will be automatically purged and then click on confirm and then we option front end here if you click on front end you will come on this page where you see these three tabs css javascript and general when you're in css tab you need to check this option minify css files combine css files and preload combine css and in javascript tab you need to enable all this option, minify JavaScript file and then combine JavaScript file and then defer render blocking JavaScript. You need to check all this option and you'll see the success messages once the options are saved. Okay, and then we have general. So in general, you need to enable the minify HTML output and then make sure you enable this option, web fonts optimization. This can bring big effect on your website's loading speed. And then you have font preloading. If you want to preload some fonts from Google, click this pencil icon and you can add the URL of your fonts here. This should be complete URL of your fonts. And then check disable emojis and DNS prefetch for external domains. Guys, there's an important message here because when you use this option, it can break your website. So what happens if you enable all this option and then you test your website breaks. So what you need to do is come back here on CSS. And then what you need to do is uncheck all these options. And then you go back to your website front end, reload the website. If everything loads fine, this means one of these options is breaking your website. So what you need to do is, you need to enable these options one by one. For example, I gonna enable minify CSS files, then I'll go back to my website, I'll reload it. If it works well, that means this option is not breaking my website. So what I will do, I will enable the second option here. Then I'll do the same process, I'll go to my website front end, reload it. If now my website is breaking, I'll make sure this option is breaking my website. So I'll not enable this option. I create so many videos about advanced troubleshooting. If you want to know more about those things, check the description of the video. But yes, you get the idea that do not enable the option which is breaking your website. So once you make sure if nothing is breaking your website, check all the options. Most of the time, the JavaScript options will break your website. So make sure you repeat the same process with all these options. Uncheck all these options and then enable one by one if these options are breaking your website. And I'm sure you will know that which option exactly is breaking your website. A lot of people ask me their website got broke so you can identify which option broke your website by troubleshooting like this so this was the front end option then we have media so in media option you can use compression settings you can use this option only if you're on site ground hosting if you're not on site ground hosting you cannot use this option but yes we got so many plugins we got w smush plugin and webp express plugin if you're on any other hosting check the description of this video so you can find how you can implement smush and webp images on your website on non-site ground websites and if you want to buy site ground hosting check the description of this video you get the best discount i had the link in description so you can get best discount for site ground hosting and then your media optimization make sure you check this option lazy load media and for the people who are using site ground hosting you need to enable all this option for example if i enable this option i'll get this pop-up that because i'm not using site ground hosting so i cannot enable this option so make sure you enable this option and then if you want to exclude css class from lazy load you can add that class here and then if you want to exclude media types from lazy load, you can add those also here. So for example, and I uncheck thumbnails because I want to lazy load my thumbnails on my website. So I remove thumbnails and now I will confirm. Okay, so now all my images will be lazy loaded except these five media types will not be lazy loaded. Okay, then maximum image width, you can leave this to default. And once done, you do not need to do anything. Everything is saved by default. You can go and test your website. This one old score. If I test my website again, you can see I'm scoring 89 from wild devices and 96 for desktop devices. I'm sure if I repeat this process few times, I'm gonna get even higher scores. And same thing with GT metrics. If I'm gonna retest my website with GT metrics, you can see I'm getting very high scores with side ground optimization plugin. And I perform another test on Google PageSpeed. So I'm still showing 89, but if you repeat this process, you will get more than 90% scores on your website. So now the important questions which you need to discuss about this plugin as the optimizer. So the first question, is this a good plugin to use on non-site ground website? Then I will say, if you got a very easy and simple website, you can use this plugin 100%. Very simple plugin does the work, but not the best plugin if you're not using site ground hosting. So if you're using any other hosting, 
but you want to have SEO optimization plugin, you need to add auto optimize plugin to get the best course for your website. Just only this plugin will not be the best option for your website to speed optimize it. You need to use some other plugins, for example, auto optimize to have the best JS and CSS minification. You need to use WebP Express plugin to convert your images to WebP. You need to use WSmush plugin to optimize your website images. So if you're not using SiteGround hosting, not the best plugin, but you can still use this plugin with some other plugins I just explained. So second question, what about the SiteGround hosting? So if you're using SiteGround hosting, I'm sure this is a really good plugin. You can use this plugin and you can benefit of all the features comes with SiteGround hosting. And guys, if you want to get a discount on SiteGround hosting, check my affiliate link in the description. The third question, can you get the best course ideally 90 plus with SiteGround optimization plugin or not? Okay, so it is possible for a simpler website if you're using SiteGround hosting. You can extend this answer on next question, which is what about the sites with Google AdSense and lot of plugins? Is it possible to get 90 plus scores or not? Okay, so just using this plugin, you cannot get 90 plus score easily. It is really hard, even if you're using SiteGround hosting. So what happens if you use a lot of plugins, you have a lot of JS on your website, you're using Google AdSense on your website, this plugin is not the best plugin for you. But if your website is very simple, give it a try because it is optimized for SiteGround hostings. So if you have SiteGround hosting, I highly recommend you use this plugin and then you can see if you can get 90 plus scores or not. Just to give you an example, so this is a website which got 90 plus scores with SG optimization plugin. This is a very simple website. If I show you the scores of my main website where I use SiteGround optimizer, but this is not on SiteGround hosting. That also a things to consider. So it is on Cloudways and this plugin is made especially for SiteGround hostings. They say you can use it on any hosting, but I don't agree with that. I think it works best with SiteGround hosting. So these are the score on my main website. You can see I'm getting only 66 out of 100 using this plugin. And this website got a lot of plugins. I'm using WooCommerce on the website and I also use Google Ads scripts also. So I hope all that answered the question. If you have any additional questions about SG optimization plugin or in general, any optimization question about your website, comment down below in the video. And guys, if you want to know that how I get 100 out of 100 scores for my same website using Lightspeed Cache plugin, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know how to create an amazing WordPress blog or website, check out this other video on screen. And like always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.